everyone, and thank you for tuning in to another Heal and Regenerate podcast. And on today, it is myself, uh, Apostle Eva, and, and Pastor Ty. And we have a very special guest with us today, uh, Shara K. Taylor. Shara, can you introduce yourself? Yes, I am Shira K., interior designer, and based out of Houston, Texas. I am so happy to be here with you guys today. All right. So we want to get started because we have Shara has some amazing things that she's going to share with us today in regards to her faith, in regards to uh, her wonderful designs, and, and also be able to give us some tools and tips on how we what we can use in our own lives as we can move or do things in our home. And so we are so excited to have her on today. And so I'm going to turn it over to Pastor Ty, and we're going to begin to get started with the show. Pastor Ty. Yes, so one of the first questions that we know I um, want to ask was that um, we know that you, and many may, may not know, but we want to kind of talk about how you got into design. So what, um, how did you first get into design or interior design? So honestly, um, it was actually, I always tell people the same story. It was actually supernatural. It was nothing but God, honestly. And every time somebody asked me this question, I'm always like, I hope I'm not being a little too churchy because I actually don't have any experience, didn't have any experience in design, home design or, you know, uh, corporate or doing any kind of commercial, you know, anything with that. I, I always, I was always in fashion. And wow. so um, yeah. I always wanted to do interior design. It was always, it was always the end goal. But I had I didn't know how to start. I uh, went to school for education. Um, didn't even really get a chance to work in education like I should have. Um, um, dipped into fashion and just really took off with fashion. Um, long story short, one of my good girlfriends one time, she does hair and I was getting my hair done um, at her salon. And she said, man, Shara, I know I was put to open for fashion truck at this time. And she said, I know that you are really passionate about this fashion truck. Yeah. She said, but... To be honest, this is not this is not what's gonna be it for you. She was like, you need to start designing people's home. And I kind of gave her this look like, girl, if you don't, you know, it might not be those words, you know what I'm saying? But I gave her this look like, girl, if you don't like, I mean, this is my season, like celebrate me in this fashion truck. Yeah. But um, but it resonated with me because I knew that that was not my end all be all. And I did know that my ultimate goal was to do interior design and to be um, you know, to really do people's homes. And so I did the fashion truck maybe for about two years, um, two and a half, three years. And I, and I loved it and it did great. Yes. Um, but I always knew God said he had something greater for me. But um, mm. so bought a home, got married, bought a home, bought a townhouse. And at that time, you know, we didn't we didn't have as many as much coins as we needed to furnish right. a home house, the whole house. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, we did what we can do, and it looked nice. And everyone's like, "Oh my God, your home looks so good!" Yeah. And I started doing people's homes in my in my family, my friends, my family, just doing little things like a room or two with them, and yes. people would love it. Even doing wow. their businesses, like their their salons and just things like that. Yeah. Um, and so got a divorce. Yeah. And even though I thought that was going to be my sh my model home, my showcase, that town home that I purchased, yeah, it didn't happen. But yes. I knew when God told you He got something for you, He got something for you. So when yes, I purchased amen. my next home, I said, you know what? I know that I'm standing on the promise of what God said. Yes. I'm going to furnish this home like I know I should. I'm going to make this my um my portfolio because I don't have a professional portfolio, but this is what yes. I can. Do in my home and if these clients can give me the opportunity to do what i can do on my own yes. free will in my home then they'll mm -hmm. let me to do it then start building the house um decorated my house start and because i love it so much even building my own home yes. i decided to go apply to um a perry a company a, a company here in you know it's in texas yes yes number, it's actually the number one home builder in texas so i went and applied wow. just on the limb got hired within one week Whoa. No, I y'all. It was. I'm telling you, God was li literally leading my steps because mm. I don't have any education mm. or in, in, in the interior design and home Look design. I was literally building these homes from ground up with the contractors, picking out the brick, picking out the the appliances, picking out the cabinetry, picking out everything. Um, oh, wow. And yes, and and no experience at all. But I loved mm. it. Got I was there for three years, three promotions in three years. Yeah. Oh, and look at y'all. You know, and y'all, when and and so when I during the pandemic, right when the yes. pandemic came, they let some of us go. 
Yes. And that was the best decision that could have ever happened. Because even then, it felt like, you know, it was a storm. But y'all, it was the biggest blessing for me because my business, mm. I, I launched Lux Style Interior, which was my own business. And yes. it skyrocketed because everyone was at home oh, working. Yes. No one was in the office. And so when people are at home working, you're still making the money. But now you're yes. looking at your home like, oh, my God, this don't look good. I want to be somewhere that looks nice. Right. I want a nice home office. I start off doing home offices. Yeah. Um, and featuring them, and they just took yes. off. And oh, so I started oh doing the God. entire home, the entire project, and that's exactly how I started. But I always tell people, it was how you got into it. It was literally God ordained. It's really a, it was really a prayer and a promise from God, and I stood Thank on you, it. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, oh, man, man, that is a blessing. Ty, I'm gonna jump right there because she already said what set her apart. So listen, I'm excited. I'm excited about all these beautiful designs. If a person, I know our listening audience is listening now. So if a person, before they come to you, uh, Shira, for your services, what are some of the steps that they need to take before they just they want to meet with you in order to take their uh, designing level to the next level? To, hot, to book me as an interior designer? Yeah, what would they need to do? Um, well, basically just know, know a budget, come in with the okay. budget, know exactly what you want to do. I always tell my clients that Rome was not built in a day. So let's not even come in here trying to build your home yes. house in one in one session. But yes. pick three, two, three good rooms that you want to start with mm. and know exactly what you want to do. And then let me do the rest. Okay. Wow, that sounds good. Todd, do you have a question you want to ask her? So yeah, so when designing a room shower, what is the most important factor for you? The most important factor into designing a room. Um, honestly, I just like to take what you like, your style, in your client style, and apply it to what my knowledge and what I know and make your dream come true. So wow. every aspect of the design is really important. I want the budget because your budget, everyone always want to stay on budget, right? Yes. And everybody always wants the desired look they have, right? Yes. So my thing is, whatever you want, put it into paper and let me put it on the mm. picture. That's good. Oh, God, That's good. good. And so while we're right there talking about interior design, I got a question for you. This might sound silly, but I want to, it might be some people that don't know. Is, is there a difference between interior design and interior decoration? Or is it kind you know, of the same? You know, we, okay. Interior designers really despise the word interior decorator because so yeah, we really do. Um, because decorating just feels like we can just come in there and decorate, like accessorize. Okay. Mm -hmm. But designing it means we can come in and we can do we can do it all. Because okay. really, if you are an interior designer, yes. you don't just decorate, you are designing your yes. home for that space. Yes. You yes. know, yes. but yeah, yes. we, we really do in despise <laughs> interior decorate. <laughs> We're gonna cut that out right now. And you know what? Yeah. I just want to say something for a minute as we move. As you talk, I just want you to know that, you know, they say on the vibration of your voice, there is such a healing on the vibration of your voice. Even I'm so excited just being around you, mm -hmm. just being around. It's just you exude. I can't even tell you what it's healing and just a, a, a so much joy. This is really a blessing. I'm, I mean, this is just a blessing. I'm just Pulling all I can in for you. You are such a blessing. Such a yes, blessing. Yes, this yes. is blessing me. And I know so many other people that are going to watch this. They're going to be blessed with this. And I also, is it my turn, Ty? Or I don't want to jump ahead of you. <laughs> so as an interior designer, what are some questions you will ask your clients? So what are some things you'll ask them pertaining to like what they want to do? So I do send out, that's a good question. I do send out, every time someone contacts me, I send out this questionnaire. And it's probably about five to six pages long. And everyone's like, oh my God, it's so long. It's a pamphlet. And I'm like, you know what? I send this out because I want to know exactly what it is you like. Because yes. as I'm out shopping for you and designing your look, if Tylen says, hey, I don't like plaid, I know not to get any plaid for you. So right. I'm always asking, what's your design style? Is it modern? Is it tradition? Is it a traditional? Mm. Is it glam? That's is it simplistic? Good. So I can know exactly where to go for you. If you're a glam girl, girl clean cut, I know, okay, we're going to go to like the crate and barrels. If you're like this yes. or the yeah. our house, if you are a glam, I'm going to go to the Z gallery and do crystal. So I like to know for sure what your design style is what yes. colors you absolutely hate 
and what mm -hmm. colors you absolutely love. And that gives me an idea of what we can go from there. Wow. So that's good. So so basically, that's what drives the designs is basically the, the what your your client center. So your clients give you the information and that drive the designs. Is there anything else that drives your designs along with their their information that they give you? You know what? Again, like I said, I don't like to sound so churchy, but I do this even in my client in my consultation with my clients. I put my heart and soul in every project I do. Yes. And that literally drives every design, every yes. project. Every mm. time I look at a questionnaire, literally I tell my clients, it's nothing that I would put into a home or to your business that I wouldn't put into my home or my business. Yes. And honestly, it's God, I'm telling you, I'm telling you guys. Because like I said, I have no formal background on this. Yeah. So when I'm doing this, I'm, I'm doing it from my heart. Mm -hmm. When I'm designing your home, I'm designing yes. from my heart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's that's literally what's that's what's driving it. And, and you know what's so amazing? Because you can see God in every design. Every, yes. I watch every design on your page, every video. And I watched some of the videos over and over. And it was like, as they was moving, panning across the room, I could feel myself just kind of flowing with the spirit. You could just see it. Just, I said, oh my God. So your gift has made room for you and brought yes, you before great yes. men. Amen. That you yes. are the perfect shining example of that. Yes. And so uh, you've answered that. Tom, I'm going to turn it back over to you with your next question. So, Shy. Um, do you, because I know that you were brought up in the church, I know you come from a, a background of, you know, so do you pray before you begin your each design project? You know what, before, that's a great question too, Ty, oh my goodness, before every project I pray, before every, before I meet with any client, because every client I have that is in the Houston surrounding area, I do a consultation and they come to my home. And yes. so before every consultation, before you, I even meet you in person, I pray. Mm. before I decide to even when I'm driving to my um to go install I have my praise and worship because I want to be in the spirit every yes. time and sometimes even when I'm in your home designing I yes. have my praise and worship going because I'm, I'm, I'm really it. telling you guys I too, when I am designing Ooh. your home it is a it's, it's a gift and I don't have any formal background I don't have any degrees to say hey I can do this it's literally God working through oh, me. Oh my God, mm -hmm. Jesus! I mean, I could run if we had this. If yes. this was survival, honey, I'd be running right now because you preaching through. Your, you yes. know what? Your design. You preach through your design. You're preaching yes. through your testimony. It is just blessing right now yes. on the line. Blessing so mm -hmm. much and so. Uh, Time, we, I'm not going to go into about a faith being tied in because the faith yeah, is everything. These are, it's all over, yes. It's everything. So I'll let you go move to your next question right now because she so, answered. So, so another question that we have, have you designed for any celebrities so far? I actually, I actually have. So um, Ricky Smiley, reached, I did a design for my aunt. Oh, um, wow. Yes, my aunt, she's a celebrity uh, cake artist. She does okay. her absolutely edible cakes in Rowlett, Texas. Okay. Um, she, wow. Yeah, and she called me and said, niece, I, I see you doing your thing. I need you to come do my thing, your thing for me. And I said, of course, absolutely. Oh, my God. And so I went to go do her home. Um, she lives in Rowlett, Texas. I did her master bedroom. I did her master suite, her master yes. bedroom, her master bath. Yes. And she just got it redone. It looks, I mean, it looked amazing. Yes. And she said, it looks, I got, you know, I got it done, but it, it's not, it's just not all the way there. I need that Shira touch on it. Yeah. And so I went to do it. And it's so funny. Um, I was, I can't remember where I, I was on an install and I had all these missed calls, missed calls, missed calls. I'm like, what's going on? And she was yes. like, she's like, niece, uh, call me. Ricky Smiley has reached out to me. He wants you to design his home. Oh, and I was like, my, oh God. my God. You know, oh yeah. So my God. I immediately called her back and she was like, girl, call him back. She's like, he just reached out to me and said, hey, um, does your niece design apartments? And I wow. said, she'll design anything you want. And so he actually reached out to me to design his girlfriend's high rise oh condo. Oh my God. Yes, for sure. So let me wow. ask you on some of the, some of his, uh, when he shows himself, has, has some of the, that the apartment's been something that you've designed or had, had, had you seen well, any of that on social media? What you, well, you I know? have seen the, yes, his girlfriend does, her apartment is done and it, I have seen her work on social media. Oh, wow. So listen, we gon' this is a celebrity. Yes, it is celebrity. Designer, it's 
So I, you know, ooh, this is wonderful. So I just want to shout out to anybody that's in, listen, celebrities, whoever you are, listen, this is top yeah. status right here, honey. We want to get this thing right here. I would say go and get it, okay? Yeah, so that exactly. is fab, like uh, this boy used to stay on the park. That's fabu. Okay, that is. Okay. Fabulous. So now that we said that, I'm so excited. We want to take a, a few minutes. We're going to pull up some designs, Shari. We just want you Ty's going to ask you a couple of questions so we can let our listening audience know about this dynamic work that you do. And I can't wait to me and Apostle get ready to buy a house because y'all ready. We already know who's doing ours, okay? Me too. I've, I've been saying that forever. I was, when she oh should design the first God. one, I've been saying I can't wait because I want yes. y'all to design mine. Yes, indeed. So we're going to pull this up. Okay. And there's our looks, our Miss Shara K. Taylor. Yes. Beautiful. Okay. So here we have a before and after for a bathroom design. Can you tell us a little bit about this one that you did, Shara? I sure can. This one is um, a teenage boy's. Um, this is his actually bathroom. He has a, it's a Jack and Jill bathroom. Wow. He, um, yes, I actually went in and designed the family's hold the upstairs family's room. I did oh, a little wow. boy's room. And I also did a, um, which is his brother. He was five years old. And I did yeah. his um, sister's room. And he yeah. told his mom, like, oh, you know what? Don't even worry about it. I don't want to get my room done because I'm going to be graduating next year. So I don't need my room done. Yeah. And she was like, okay, cool, fine. So I designed his sister and his brother's room. But once I was finished, he was like, you know what? I go. I want to go ahead and get mine done. So this <laughs> is actually beautiful. the after. Yeah, so this is actually the bathroom of his bedroom, um, his his bathroom that I designed once we finished with everything. It looks wonderful. It's so pretty. You even, did you, the, that that little, uh, you put in the mirror in the box design on the wall. That is, all those are so beautiful. And I've never seen anything like that before. That is beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful, yes. And so here we have three more that I um, have. And so can you tell us about these? I sure can. So this one here is a client, the, the teal one, um, the ones to your left, I believe, mm -hmm. the teal ones and the mm -hmm. tan ones, they are a client that came out to me. Okay, again, it's going to sound a little churchy, but yeah. um, <laughs> she reached out to me on Facebook and she, I don't have a Facebook business page. This is like, this is around, this is probably once I, one of the first year I started doing interior design. Okay. She reached out to me on Facebook and she said, hey, I was in a group message um, or a Facebook message or a Facebook place. And someone, I said, I was looking for, no, someone else did a post and said they were looking for an interior designer. She yeah. said, I just purchased a home and I'm looking for an interior designer too. So I decided to follow the post. Mm. She said, and someone told the girl who was looking for an interior designer, Hey, Shira K is your girl. She's going to take care of you. Yeah. She said, so from that, she said, she clicked on my name. And she looked on my page to remind you, I don't have a business in a, in, you know, a business profile yes. on Facebook. So she looked on my page. She said she started scrolling through my page. She said she's seen a few designs. She said, and she's like, okay, the girl can design. She said, but more <laughs> than that, she's seen that I was like, every time I would say something, I would like give honor to God or mm -hmm. a lot of my posts were acknowledging God. She said, you know what? She a Christian. She's yes. going to take care of me for real. When that girl told the other girl that Shira was going to take care of her, no, yes. this is my girl and she's going to take care of me. So she wow. came to my house in the middle of a pandemic. She was actually sick when she came. Wow. And she said, I had to come um, because I know that you are my girl and you're going to take care of me. But this mm -hmm. is a design that's near and dear to my heart. We started in three rooms here and we're at room number seven now. I'm still working on a project oh, with her right wow. now today. So yeah, this is a this project was really near and dear to my heart. She was she was around the same age as my mom, and I call her, I started calling her auntie just for my consultation when she called and said, you know, you my girl. I know it. Someone else said that you was that girl. You are gonna take care of them, but no, yes. you're my girl. And I'm going. You're gonna take care of me, and I took care of her. And, and that oh, that's exactly how that started. Wow, mm -hmm. wow, they, yeah. that's beautiful. And that and that black and gold down there is it still? That's in the same house, or is that a different? Is that a that's different? actually a different home? That's actually okay. a man cave. Okay. It started, and that's actually not even a completed project, but um, wow. that was a little progress of it. It started to be a king of the jungle. 
Oh, oh wow. so that's why I have the leopards and like the animal prints in there and the black. Oh, so it's supposed to be a man nice. king of the jungle. Yes. Wow. So a lot of your designs, they have themes. Absolutely. Oh, wonderful. Oh, wow. That is wonderful. Wow. And so can you, I, I know this one on this side is your table. See? Beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. But the other, you can tell us a little bit about the rest of them. Which for sure well i would them. definitely i would definitely let even my formal dining that is my favorite place in my home that was actually supposed to be a garage it was supposed to be a three-car garage tandem oh, but i wow. said you know what yeah so i turned that into a formal dining because my home did not come with a formal dining okay. so we turned that into a formal dining because i knew for sure i wanted the really fancy first to be able to gather and eat yeah, I'm a really fancy girl. And I like fancy stuff, and so I want to feel real, you know, luxurious yes. sometimes when I'm doing hosting parties and things. Yes. That right there is actually my garage tandem that was turned into my formal that dining. I really want to put some glam on it. Beautiful, yes. beautiful, beautiful. Oh my and, god! And, and the next one, and this bottom middle one is a queendom office i remember she was my mm. first client that came to me that wanted an office during the pandemic oh, wow. like i said she had been she had been constricted to working in her home office yes. and she was like i want my office to be beautiful she came in for her consultation and she said and when she said in my home office she said you know what i want my home office to look like this she was saying mine yes. and i said no you don't you want it to look like yours yes. and i said it's going to be just as beautiful that was my first home office i did and it's my very favorite one it's still oh my, my very God. favorite home office it's that i did beautiful it's so pretty beautiful and the last thing also tell us about the christmas because you do um christmas tree you that decorate homes gorgeous. for christmas right i do i do do christmas decorating. actually that's the season i'm in right now i am designing christmas trees and mantles so pretty about four to five times a day now Wow. Um, yes, during these wow. holiday times. We start in October and we end about the beginning of December around this time. Oh my God, it is absolutely wow. gorgeous. But absolutely. that Christmas tree is my favorite Christmas tree. It's actually one of my, the client that I told you guys, uh, my my good girlfriend, I told you guys that she um, was the one who was like, these clothes are not it. You're yes. going to start designing some homes. You're gonna make a yes. you're gonna, it's going to make you a millionaire. Yes. She has supported me from day one. And I probably started doing her homes, her her hair salons, um, wow. every home, her apartments, everything. But this Christmas tree, she said, Shara, I want you to do my Christmas tree. And I said, We're gonna do when we if we're gonna do your Christmas tree, we're gonna really do your Christmas tree. Yeah. We're not gonna play <laughs> any corners. We're yeah. gonna play any corners with it. Beautiful. And so this Christmas tree, she gave me an unlimited budget, which I thank her for that. Um yes. Typically, when I do do her design, she always give me an unlimited bu the budget because I say, let me use your home as my showcase because you believe in me from the beginning. Yes. And so every time I design something for her, her home has become like one of the leading homes. Everyone is, is when they come sit down in my consultations, they're bringing her yes. living room. I want my living room like this. And this oh Christmas tree, God. everyone is bringing their Christmas tree. I want my Christmas tree like this. So she has really, not only did she speak life into me, she actually have trusted mm. me so much and have given me unlimited budgets that her home, her Christmas trees, every oh part I've touched of her God. has become the leading model in everything. So this Christmas tree is the leading Christmas tree that everyone wants and inspired oh to have. Oh my God. It, does it have a name? This particular tree or no? You know, I did name her, but gorgeous. <laughs> <They're> gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gorgeous, because she is gorgeous. <laughs> there she is. And Ty, you have a, another question for uh, so, so, about yeah, so the what, tree. What is one quick decoration tip that you can give viewers um, to deck to make their tree beautiful? If they don't you know, have the to be able to pay somebody, what is one tip you would give them to, to be able to glam out their tree? So one, make sure that your Christmas tree matches the colors and design of your home. If your mm. home is navy blue, get you a navy blue tree oh, that's good. and wow. add your metallics to it. If your home is pink, do you a pink tree? If yes. your home is orange, do you an orange and gold tree? Yes. Also, whenever you are you know, doing your tree, you can make your tree look good on any budget. You really can. You don't have to spend this tree right here. She spent, I'm a, she, she don't mind me going ahead and tell. She spent about $3,000 on decorations for this tree. It looks like it too. Yeah, yes. Yes. But you can, you don't have to spend $3,000. I would like for you to, but you don't have to spend $3,000 yeah. to design your tree. You can go yeah. and make your tree look good. Also make sure your wrapping paper matches the decor 
Oh, of wow. your feet. Even if you don't wow. feel like going and wrapping your gifts, go get you a bag. Make sure if your bag if your tree is red, make sure your bag is red. Wow, man, that's an awesome. That's tip. that is awesome. Yeah, because you're so, so used to seeing people trying to decorate their trees in red and green, and you right. know their house is not the same color. So that's a good tip. That's so a really I'm good. Gonna, tip. I want to ask you something. We're gonna skip time down because we're kind of running out of time. This is so much good information. So right there, I got a question. I'm gonna ask you. Ty was gonna ask it, but I'm gonna ask it. Do you think that interior design promotes healing? That's the first thing I want to ask you. And how does it promote healing? And have you ever witnessed doing a design for somebody sick and they come back and tell you how their designs has made them brought them to a place of feeling better? Well, I, I definitely think interior design. I definitely know interior design that's what promotes healing. What yeah. I will say is I was I started doing my own business in the middle of a pandemic. And yes. so even if we're not physically sick yes. during that time, yeah. we're constrained to, we're straight to a home mm -hmm. and we can be mentally sick. Yes. You understand yes. what I'm saying? And you Don't can find this one girl. space. Yes. It almost feels like you're kind of in prison a little bit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you don't have the ability to leave and go yeah. and come. You're just yeah. stuck in this one place for eight yeah. hours. And yeah. then once you get that eight hours up, you're still in your home. That's so it. I had clients that came to me and said, hey, you know, I'm looking in this office. Is I'm I'm stuck in this my home office. It's bare. It doesn't make me feel good. I don't mm. even want to work anymore. Mm. Like I, it's making me not feel good. Mm. I did a home office when I in the middle of my office in the middle of the design. She came in. She yeah. immediately started crying and she said, "I'm going to love to work here. In fact, mm. I'm about to birth me a new business. I'm going to start doing a podcast because oh my, my office God. looks so great. I want to showcase it to everybody." Look it makes that. you want to work here. Look at that. And, and that and that that was a form of healing because you know what? That really was a lifesaver. That that mm -hmm. design, and I want people in the audience to hear this, that that design is a big deal. I, I'm going back and I chuckle and I kind of laugh one time that I remember one time in another house she was in and she kept saying she was going to decorate. You kept saying, all right, not time. You said you was going to put this stuff up. You didn't put that stuff up. And I, and you know, but now she did put some stuff up and, and even the baby asked her, she said, mama, I need you to decorate and put some stuff up. It looks, she got it looking cute in there now, but the baby needed that to draw on, you know, mm -hmm. so yeah. She yeah. Needed, yeah, she needed that to draw on. So that is just amazing how, like you said, it's almost like it frees you. You're in like a, almost like a little mm -hmm. prison and it heals the mind. Amen. Exactly. So I want people that can hear me. I want you to call shower so that you can get your mind healed in that area. Amen. I want you to get Amen. your mind. We're not trying. It's not like you say too churchy, but this is just a blessing. I'm telling you. So Ty, you have another question you want to ask? So, yeah. So can you share a couple of color schemes that work well together in a design space? Um, for sure. I'm definitely going to say my, my favorite color scheme is I like to mix metals. Typically people always think if you're doing silver, you can only do silver. Mm -hmm. And I like to show people, you don't, if you like silver, you don't have to only do, you can do silver and gold. People feel like, you know, if I'm wearing a silver necklace, I can only wear silver by itself, silver necklace, silver earring, silver ring. Yes. No, you got to make it together and flow. We can do silver and gold. I, that's one of my very absolute favorite silver and gold with any color um yes. another one i really like is black and white black and white with silver and gold it's just so modern you can make it modern you make it glam it just goes well with for a man or a woman it's just I, I, black it so black and white is definitely one of my favorites and then silver and gold all right i want to ask you a question right there do you think that a person can achieve a certain design from buying stuff out of a dollar store for sure. No, I don't want you to get everything out of the dollar store. Yeah. <laughs> but, but you can get a few things at the dollar store. For sure. Okay, you can. So what, what are some things? And I'm, and I'm just saying that because I'm like, some people probably going, man, I want to do this. I want to do this. I want to do it. So if they say for this year, they may not be able to get it done this year. But if they want to be as close as they could to where, you know, the, your tree or some of the things they would look for what and like at the dollar store, like golds or gold balls or what would they look for? The so store? what I will say is the Dollar Tree actually have some cute little accessories. Yeah, they do. they, they really, really do. do. So you can go in there and get those. They have those artificial, they actually sell those artificial flowers all year long. Oh, so if you want to okay. get, they should do. So if you can start on that early, you can, because they sell it 
all year long, every month of the of the year. Yes. So the artificial oh, wow. flowers, go in there and get it. Whatever color scheme your tree is, like I said, if you yes. have a pink tree, go in yes. and get some pink flowers. If you have wow. a red tree, go in and get some red flowers, white flowers. And they also wow. have some. They also have some really cute ornaments you can put on there. Yes. But um, typically, people don't put flowers on their Christmas tree. But okay, those yeah. flowers really do look good. I put flowers yes, on yes. all my Christmas Gorgeous. trees. They look those beautiful. flower pink, artificial flowers, I put them on every single tree. Wow. So I got one more question time. Then we go after we got this, we got one more. I want to wrap it up after that. Here I go. I'm getting ready to walk. For those who you don't know, I'm getting ready to walk in the spirit. I see you doing the little conferences where people are coming. And you are blessing them like workshops and stuff and people uh, come and, you know, they pay a certain amount of money and they come and they are blessed and learn how to be able to do some of those things. I mean, because you're such an amazing teacher of design. So amazing. I've learned so much. So I saw that too. I said, oh, she needs to do that. You, you know, I'm always hearing something God is saying. Amen. So, yeah. Oh, man. And, and, and I told her, and I told her, I saw, because I was looking at her, I said, I can see you on HGTV. I said, because your personality. Oh, my God. Just, yes. the, just the heart, and I, and it just the heart that she has, and the way she just, you know, when you meet yes. Shara, it's like, it's like, you just never met a stranger, you know, so yes. I can see. She, she has she that has personality. The where, for the, to like you, what, it's like we were on HGTV today. It's yeah, like, because I mean, I can see her building. Yeah. I, I can see it. I, I, I can just see it. And she has the heart, you know, just the heart yes. to where God, you know, because she's going to bless others. You know what I'm saying? Yes. It's not it's about her. It's about her blessing yes. others. So I can see her sharing that gift through their way. Yeah, so well, I love that, and I'm gonna bring you two with me, Tylen, because you just taught me so easily and effortless how to put this background on my thing. <laughs> I mean, five minutes, and then like it, something that probably could have took five minutes took five seconds because I am not tech savvy. So you know yes. what? I need to bring you with me too. And then it's amazing <laughs> you know how you know I'm coming use, with you. And you know what? I didn't even think about it. We could have used one of her designs for the virtual background. I'm just thinking about it today. Oh yeah, we sure we could. Oh yeah, we that. could have. Oh my God. So this is amazing. Yeah. So I'm so excited for you, baby. And I'm I'm so glad I'm getting to the mama mode. I'm so glad that God has elevated you and all these wonderful things that we have learned about you. Before we bring this to a close, Ty, is there anything else that we need to say or talk about before I ask them to tell us about her packages and stuff? I, I just want her to kind of um share on how to not give up because she started one business yes. and then she did and she Very went to another good. one. So to tell people like, you know, you you just you can't get stuck in a box. So kind of just kind of share about how you kind of be open and not get stuck in a box. Look them square when it comes in the to... eye and tell them too, I know. Look them square in the eye and tell them, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It's really mainly about prayer, okay? I tell everybody because it with any business, it's not even only with interior design, any business, anything. When God have a promise for you, you gotta stay strong on that. Remember the promises that God have for you. Pray mm -hmm. about it. And yeah. even if you and even if you go a different direction, always yes. remember the promise that He has for you because you can always get back on track. Yes. Oh man, that is so good. So listeners, please take hold. This is like nuggets of information, you know, grab onto this and hold on to it. Cause after a while, we're not going to be able to catch you because you're going to be on HGTV. Mm -hmm. Not to run after it. Yeah, last year, but she, she, oh, I know she always talks to us, but she's such a sweetheart and so yes. humble. So on that note, thank you so much for sharing that. So I want to take, before we go and talk up I mean we close out and you give us your information I want you to kind of tell us about the different packages a little bit that you offer for your your services okay so one I do have virtual consultations oh, whereas beautiful. for instance you don't want me to come to your actual home and you yes. have a little design style yourself and you're like yeah. you know what I have the I have the canvas put together I just need the decoration you know that decoration yes. part you like to yes. hear the word <laughs> so you can call me yes. <laughs> yes. yes call me to be your decorator at that point so no? decoration. oh my god yes, yes. i can come in and just put on um help you kind of give the ump to your design and give you yes. a few little you know what i'm saying oh your sofa looks good or these pillows and just yes. virtually design your home for what you already oh, have. Wonderful. That is so that's great. really a good, easy, effective way. If you know, if you work on a budget and you're like, I, I kind of got it together. I'm I, I feel like I'm an interior designer already myself. Yeah. I just need a little bit of help. 
Call yeah. me. We can do a virtual consultation. Okay. Oh, wow. 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 So anything else? What's your next level that you have? With so my next out? level, which is my favorite level, is a traditional install, which is mm -hmm. where you pay me per square footage. Okay. And um, so let's just say, for, for instance, you have a room that's 100 square feet. You don't pay yeah. me to design your home home. You only pay me to design that 100 square foot. That's just an example. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then I come in and design that one. I pick everything for you. I order yes. everything for you because the really good thing about working with interior designers is we get wholesale discounts mm. every vendor. So the same okay. thing that you see in these big box stores, yes. I can get it as well, but I don't have to pay for my overhead. I don't have to, oh, I don't have a building wow. to pay for. I don't have employees to pay for it. So I don't have to tax yes. you as much as yes. these other ones. So you can get oh. the exact same thing for a fraction of the price. Oh my goodness, that is not that is good That's to good know. To right? know. And yeah. Yes. So definitely we want our listening audience to know that this has been amazing. Yes, amazing. It is. And before yeah. we get ready to close out, Shar, is there anything that's on your heart that you'd like to share with the audience before we go? Or uh, anything the last tip that you want to tell them or something? Well, just one, keep God first. Pray about everything, even if it's, even if you feel like it's minor, from what color should you use to what should you say, what should you not say? Because sometimes even, even when I, I'm very personable, and sometimes even when I have my clients, I tell all my clients, like, when I'm working with you on this project, if it's three months, if it's four months, we're family for this three or four months. Yes. But sometimes every, even with everyone doesn't have the same dynamic as family. So yes. you just want to really pray to God. That's what every business pray to God about. How do you treat your clients? Cause you don't treat yes. every client the exact same because mm -hmm. every client is completely different. Yes. So just pray for God to lead you in whatever it is that you want to do. He will do it. All right. And Ty, will you take, uh, ask the last question there? Can you no, ask question. Yeah. I was about the packages. Mm -hmm. That yeah. was. Oh, okay. That was it. it. So, 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 listen. If a person wants to get in contact with you, tell us. We're gonna post it on uh, the information, but tell us right now uh, if somebody's listening, how would they be able to get in contact with you right now? For sure. So, you one, you can reach me by email, Lux Style Interiors at gmail .com or Lux Style Interiors at yahoo .com. Also, you can contact me on my personal webpage, which is luxstyleinteriors.com. Instagram and Facebook, Lux Style Interiors. Everything oh. is Lux Style Interiors. Lux Love, Style Interiors. Lux. Can, exactly. You can also call me directly on my business phone um, Monday through Friday from 8 to 5, 713-791-8953. All right. Well, it has definitely been a pleasure be meeting with you today and so what we do shall if you don't we know you're a woman of faith we're going to ask you to take a few minutes as we get ready to close out and if you could pray for those persons who may be wanting to embark we're going to close out in prayer and if you could just kind of do a quick prayer for them to kind of you know get the lord to begin to motivate them to go to their next level for sure okay lord god i come to you today saying give us a direction lord give us direction yes, be our protective fence, Lord. Guide us and lead us and help us and lead us to the places you want us to go. Whatever it is you want us to go, hold our hands and guide us there, Lord. Give us the strength yes. and the confidence and the faith to lean on you. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 So amen. amen. Look, we thank you all. We thank our special guest, Shara K. Tyler for an, um, Ty Taylor for an amazing time on today. And we want to thank our audience again. And, and we'll see you next time at the next time with the next guest but this show will be uh start on this wednesday coming up and it will run through the whole month of december so if you miss something you can always go back to it it will be on facebook uh instagram uh youtube and twitter so we yes. want to thank you so much again and you all have a wonderful holiday thank you shara bye thank you bye, -bye.